Greetings to all. In this video, we are going to see about the roots of gymnosperms. My name is Aarti and I am a first year MSc Botany graduate in PST College of Arts and Science, Coimbatore. Gymnosperms. Gymnosperms is derived from a Greek word gymnos meaning naked and sperma meaning seed. The gymnosperms are thus vascular non-flowering plants that produces naked seeds that is their ovules are not enclosed within an ovary. Except netum, all the gymnosperms lacks vessels in their xylem and companion cells in their phloem. Now let us see about the wood. Wood generally refers to the secondary xylem. The vascular bundle of gymnosperms are conjoint, collateral and open which means they have a vascular cambium which is meristematic in nature and divides to produce secondary structures and it is present between the xylem and the phloem. Therefore, the, after division, the cells that are produced towards the upper side forms the secondary phloem and those produced towards the lower side forms the secondary xylem. The gymnosperms are divided into four major groups and the wood or the secondary xylem in these four groups differ in a slight manner. First, the psychedels. They have less secondary vascular tissues and therefore their wood is less dense and thin. Then comes the coniferales and ginkoales. These two groups have more number of secondary structures and hence their wood is much denser. And finally, the knee tails. Since the knee tails have vessels, their wood is porous and resembles that of the angiospermic wood. Composition of wood. In gymnosperms, the secondary xylem or the wood consists of two systems, namely the axial system and the radial system. In the axial system, the cells are oriented vertically towards the axis of the stem, whereas in the radial system, the cells are oriented horizontally to the axis of the stem. Axial system. The axial system is chiefly composed of trochaids, growth rings, torus, and sometimes resin ducts. The trochaids are the chief water conducting elements of the xylem and they have numerous pits and there is a central thickening on the pit membrane which is a characteristic feature of the conifer wood and this is termed as torus. The trochaids are formed during the spring as well as the summer season. The summer season is known as the growing season. The, the seasonal variation in the trochaids constitutes the growth rings which forms the light and dark bands of the wood. During the summer or the growing season, the trochaids have a very small lumen whereas in the spring season, the trochaids have larger lumen. Radial system The radial system mostly comprises of the parenchymatous cells and sometimes they also contain ray trochaids. These trochaids have thickenings in their pit membrane which is commonly known as dentate ray trochaids. In general, the wood of gymnosperm is often called softwood because they have no vessels and they are non-porous in nature. Classification of wood The woods of gymnosperms are mainly classified into two major types based on the amount of xylem cells present in their cortex. They are manoxylic wood and pycnoxylic wood. Manoxylic wood It is a non-compact wood with a less amount of xylem trochaids in the cortex and it has a large pith with more parenchymatous cells and hence it is not durable and cannot be used economically. Example cycus. Then the pycnoxylic wood. It is a compact wood in which the cortex has more xylem trochaids and the pith is very small and has less parenchymatous cells. It is durable and hence it is economically benefited which can be used as a timber. Example pinus. Uses of the gymnosperm wood The conifers and taxales produce higher quality, light colored and strong durable wood which is widely used in making furniture and other household products. Example, cedrus, it is durable, oily, fragrant, insect repellent and rot resistant. Juniperus has a fragrant and reddish brown wood. A bees, a conifer has a lightweight termite free wood which can be used in aircraft work, packing cases etc. 
taxus is a very strong wood it has elastic in nature with oily fragrant characters and has a glossy surface and hence used in manufacture of plywoods thank you.